Gabriel Ryder, PureSwingTV.com. You know, I've been getting a lot of comments on people saying, hey, I do good on the range, but I can't, I can't take it to the course, and you know, my, my range play is way better than what I do on the course, so my suggestion to you is take the course to the range. And I do this, all my other friends who are scratch handicappers do this. What we do is, after we're done working on our mechanics and our swing, at the end of every practice session, we'll take nine, seven, and five iron, and we'll hit balls to different targets. So I'll get my nine iron, I'll pick a specific target, I'll go through my pre-shot routine, just I would on, like I would on the course, and then I hit a shot to there. Then I get my five iron, and I'll pick another target completely different. And so you have to pick targets just like you would on the course. And if you don't hit a good shot, go on to the next club because on the course you don't get a second chance. And one more thing, I suggest you play holes on the range. Sometimes I'll pick two alleys, two pins, and I'll make a, a driving alley. So I'll, I'll pick a fairway out there, and then after I hit my drive, I'll, I'll pick out a club I think I might have into the green. So at the end of every session, make sure you pick different targets, go through your pre-shot routine like you would on the course, and play some holes out here. And that way, your practicing is a lot more fun, and that transition from the range to the course is going to be a lot easier. This is Gabe saying that's your range tip.